On today's Did You Know segment, we discuss the logistics of this election and some numbers that are astounding. This is the 17th Lok Sabha election. It's the second longest that India has seen, spread over seven phases, more than a month long. You may ask which was the longest. India's first, the first general election, was held over a period of nearly four months, from October 25th, 1951 to February 21st, 1952. The second election was spread over 20 days. Since then, the duration has come down drastically. Four days in 1980, five in 1984 and 89. But after 1991, the duration became longer again. The Lok Sabha elections of 2014 were spread across a little over a month. This time too, the affair will last for 40 days. Seven phases, as we said. Which brings us to this question. How many phases of polling took place in India's first election? The answer is a whopping 68. That remains the record. 68 phases of polling for one election. That's because it was the first time an election of such a scale was being conducted anywhere in the world. Also, the harsher weather conditions in 1952 led to this. So how does the current number compare with 2014 or even 2009 or 2004? Nine phases in 2014, five in 2009, four in 2004. That's the tally for the last four elections. That's the duration and phases. Now in 2014, which party is contesting the maximum number of seats? And how does it compare with previous elections? This is a crucial question. A perfect analogy is in football. It is said that the more the number of shots a team takes at, at the goal, the more the chances to actually score a goal. Politics, of course, is not football, and yet this number is important. The ruling BJP is fighting from 437 seats. The Congress from 423. The Congress is yet to make a decision on a couple of seats, but this will be the first time in the history of independent India that the BJP is contesting more seats than the Congress party in a national election. In 2014, the Congress fought from 464 con constituencies. They won only 44. That's less than 10% strike rate. The BJP contested 428 seats. They won 282. Success rate of more than 65%. If you look at the last four elections, you will see that contesting from more seats is no guarantee of a higher tally. The BJP, for instance, contested in only 339 seats in 1999. They won 182. They formed a coalition government. What else does this figure tell you of how many seats a party contests? If a party contests more on its own, it means that the party has not forged strong alliances or the party doesn't feel the need to depend on allies so much for the numbers. With that, it's a wrap on this edition of India Election Watch. Keep the comments coming in. Your feedback is most welcome. You can tweet us with the hashtag India Election Watch. Thank you for being here.